Well, for the next few lessons, we're going to be doing a painting of a flower. And uh, I'm going to be working digitally, and I'll be using watercolor brushes for the most part. But remember, you can use whatever you want to. Today's lesson, we're going to just do the sketch. So what I want to do, first of all, is I want to get my reference uh, material. So I'm going to select that button and open a file. Uh, that's one of the cool things with ArtRage. You can pin a reference photo right in uh, the app so you can work from it. Uh, this uh, picture is a little flower from our backyard. Uh, my wife, uh, Laurel, planted some ground cover and it puts on these really nice looking little purple flowers. So I thought that would be a nice uh, subject for our little watercolor project. Uh, okay, I'm it, it, with uh, Art Rage. If you select it right up there by that uh, Thing that looks like a pin, then you can rotate. And I wanted to rotate the picture to get a better angle. Made it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to close that window. We don't need it open at the moment. I'm going to select a color. Right now, I'm just going to do the uh, basic sketch, basic drawing. So I, I just want a, a black or a super dark gray uh, so that I can have a uh, really a pencil effect. Uh, so I've got that adjusted now. I'm going to move the drawing over. I'm going to close that samples window. I don't need that anymore. If I want to pull that up, I can go right down there to that little square and I can bring that back. Uh, but I don't need it at the moment because all I'm doing is uh, one color and that's gray. Now later I'll use this pen, but I'm going to start out with uh, a pencil tool and um, Again, one of the nice features of Art Rage is it has a pretty realistic uh, pencil tool. It, it looks just as if you were using a pencil and, and I could shade with it and do all sorts of things. But again, I'm, I'm just doing a line drawing right now. So I'm ready to start my line drawing. Now, you've heard me talk about contour drawing before, and that's basically what I'm doing here. Uh, but there, there are two different kinds. There's blind contour, where you never look uh, at your paper. And there's modified contour, which is where you mostly look at your subject, uh, but you do kind of look back and forth to your paper or to your drawing surface. Uh, and that's what I'm doing here. 90% uh, of the time my eyes are on the photograph of the flower, uh, but uh, I do check back and forth, make sure I'm at least uh, in the ballpark, that I'm not too far off base. Uh, what I'm doing right now is just getting the the, the basic outline uh, of the of the flower. I don't really. I'm not worrying about shading. I'm not worrying about uh, trying to achieve any kind of realism at this point. I just want to get the contour. I want to get the outline, uh, and I'm not going to just be absolutely perfect. Don't don't be a slave to your reference photo. Uh, you can adjust. You can. You know, modify. Uh, art isn't about taking a, a photographic uh, image of something. Now, there are, that's not to diminish people that do photorealistic art. There, there are some amazing artists uh, that do that. But, uh, but it, for a picture to be good, it does not have to be a, a photorealistic representation. Uh, so uh, what I'm doing here, I just switched over to my eraser tool and uh, wanted to take out a few areas where I, I wasn't happy with the lines, and I'm going to tweak those just a little bit more. Uh, but uh, but again, I'm I'm going mostly right now just to get the the contour reasonably close to what I'm seeing in the photo. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And just cleaning that up a little bit. And then let's define that one petal since those ones are touching. The other ones kind of have gaps around them to define them a little bit. But I'll put a line in there for that one. Now, if you notice the center part of the flower, it almost looks like a pentagon. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to draw the, uh, that little center uh, area where all the pollen is. That's where the bees would go if they were going for the pollen. Uh, and so I'm, I'm just going to put that little pentagon in there and I'm going to bring that line down a little bit farther. And the same with this one over here. And I've got a pretty 
good basic flower. Now, as I, I begin to look at the leaves, if you, if you notice the shape of the leaves, uh, they're almost like hearts. Uh, so I'm going to try to reflect that. Now, before I do, uh, what I want to do is I want to reposition that flower. And that's one of the nice things with, with di digital art. I can move things around. Uh, now, I have uh, the uh, Move tool on, and I'm going to choose Select. But here I make a little mistake because uh, I chose the wrong position for, for starting. So I've got to come over and uh, deselect. And now what I'm going to do is get into a better position. Uh, each digital art program uses a different approach pretty much for, uh, uh, for selecting and moving things. So uh, sometimes I forget which is which and uh, it takes a while for me to remember what I have to click on to get it to do what I want to. Okay, so now uh, I have to trans uh, click on Transform Layer Contents. That actually lets me move that flower around and reposition it on my paper. Uh, again, one of the nice advantages of digital art. Um, so once I have that position, then I go up and deselect. And now I'm going to move into the leaves, still with my pencil. And I'm going to start on that in a top flower, and I'm just going to draw a heart shape. Uh, and it's not going to all be visible. Uh, then I'm going to come over and get the one just to its lower right. And again, just draw another another heart shape there. You notice the reference picture disappears when I uh, accidentally draw in uh, or on top of it. Okay, so we got our second one. I'm going to sketch in a, 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 another one here. Uh, it's not in exactly the position, uh, but what I want to do is try to arrange my composition. I, again, I'm not trying for a photorealistic uh, repro reproduction of the picture. Uh, sketching in a little stem there, and I'm going to bring that up. Okay, see how it comes up there around? I'm going to bring that up around. And then I'm going to draw the... I don't know if you would call that a bud or just the unopened flower. There's another flower there about to open up. So, and that's just kind of a nice, you know, not quite a teardrop. It's almost like a, a spearhead type shape. I'm going to put one more leaf over here again, not in the same position it is in the photo. And I don't like that big gap. So I'm going to add one kind of tiny leaf there just to take up a little of that space. And that's my basic composition for this picture. And I, I like it. I think it's nice and balanced. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and reposition it again because I want it a little bit more centered. And uh, to do that, I'm this time I, I've got select on, but I'm opening the preset, which lets me choose a different kind of selection tool. This one is a freehand, so it, it really is just going to let me draw a, a uh, circle or a shape oval around what it is I'm trying to move. There we go. And uh, then I go back up and click Transform Layer Contents, and that's going to let me not only move this, but it's going to let me resize it. Uh, I want to shrink that down just a little bit. And then I'm going to, again, move it a little bit more to where it's a, a bit more centered. And I click the check mark, and then I have to go up and click Deselect. And there. So that's my basic sketch, and I'm, I'm happy with that. I like it. Uh, so the next step is going to be to, uh, to ink it or to come over. Basically, I'm not using ink, obviously. I'm, I'm just coming over, and I'm going to darken uh, that sketch a little bit. So uh, what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to, uh, first of all, create a new layer. Now, if you were or are working on regular paper uh, with pencil, then what I would do is I would be coming back in with a uh, fine tip marker on top of uh, on top of my pencil sketch. But here, I've added a new layer, which lets me draw on top of that sketch without uh, changing or damaging the sketch. I've chosen my pen tool, and I'm setting that at about four percent, so it's a, a nice line. And let me erase and get those out of there so we don't have those hanging around. 
And then all I'm going to do is go in and uh, go over all of those lines. I'm going to speed this part up. Uh, the previous part that I did that you watched me sketch, that was real time. Uh, but uh, just to speed things up here a bit, I'm accelerating this. And I just want to make sure I've covered all those lines. I do go back in and clean them up a little bit to make sure that you know I don't have any stray edges or or little areas that just aren't where they're supposed to be. But for the most part, I just want a nice solid line that's going to be the foundation of our uh, painting. Okay, and then I am going to just do a little bit in that center section. And I'm just kind of putting some random shapes in there. I'm not really trying to be accurate with the photo. And let's erase those. And then what I'm going to do, if you notice, I can turn the layers off. And I turn the bottom layer off. So all I have is my uh, line drawing there. And you can see one little area up there by the flower. I want to erase that and clean it up. But everything else looks pretty good. So, uh, so there is my uh, flower drawing. And uh, we're going to be ready to uh, paint on that next.